Hello and welcome back to the Wellness Check. Today's video is all about bilateral stimulation. What is it? When to use it? Uh, especially outside of an EMDR kind of appointment. How it can help reduce anxiety and get you out of the fight or flight stage and into the rest relax stage. So BLS, that's a shortened way to say bilateral stimulation. If you've seen any of my other videos before, then you know what bilateral stimulation is. It's a way of activating both hemispheres of the brain simultaneously. And most noteworthy, we use bilateral stimulation in EMDR. Not as too big of a segue, but when you think about EMDR, eye movement, desensitization and reprocessing, you're using eye movement to go from left to right to left to right, and that stimulates both hemispheres at the same time while thinking about something very specific relating to trauma therapy, in a nutshell. <laughs> this is not a video on trauma processing. This is a video on how to use bilateral stimulation or BLS in many different ways at home just purely for anxiety reduction and making you feel a little bit better if you're stressed out. So I've already talked a little bit about moving from what we call the, the parasympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight kind of system over into this, what we call rest and digest. So anytime our nervous system gets a little too stressed out, overwhelmed, maybe gets triggered, maybe you have a trauma history, um, but whether or not you do have a trauma history, we all know what it feels like just to be burned out, stressed out, overwhelmed, or triggered by something in your daily life. This is how we can reset the nervous system fairly quickly and effort effortlessly to recalibrate the nervous system, to bring it down a couple notches, and to just start feeling more safe, more secure, more calm, more happy, more connected with our own thoughts and the people around us. That's in a gist what bilateral stimulation is able to do for us, and it's an amazing thing. I teach all of my clients about bilateral stimulation, tips and techniques to use on their own at home, either after a tough counseling session or just anytime life is handing you those lemons, right? So we're going to go through a couple different exercises on what you can do for bilateral stimulation at home. Easy peasy. The first type, we have this very tactile physical form of bilateral stimulation. And as seen in EMDR appointments, it really truly looks like this. So not many people truthfully sit in their own house and like just look at their hands go across. Technically you could and that would be fine. But something that I encourage people to do that's just a little less awkward maybe is to find two maybe pictures on your wall or even put um, sticky notes up on your wall, right? Put them up on your wall pretty far apart to where if your eye, if your head is still, you can kind of see both of them out of your peripheral. You don't want to put them too far. But now you have a cue. Now you have something physical that you, that your eyes can look at and bounce left, right, left, right, just like that. When you're done, take the sticky notes down. Nobody knows what happened. Or you can, like I said, use pictures on the wall that you have or decor or anything like that. That will also work. Um, a key to really, really hone in here is that when we are doing bilateral stimulation, I forgot to say this earlier, for anxiety reduction, we are not doing trauma work, we're just making ourselves feel better. The essential key is to go slow. So if here are your two sticky notes, you're not going left, right, left, right quickly. You're going really, 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 really slowly. So in EMDR, it looks like this. That's fast, that's processing trauma. In the examples that I'm gonna share with you today, all of it is slow. I mean, slow. So whether you're looking at pictures on the wall, sticky notes on the wall, or you're just letting your eyes track left and right, this is how slow we wanna go. Pretty interesting, right? 
there are other options too. One of my most favorite ones is called the butterfly hug. So with your, your wrists crossed, you just place them right over on top of your shoulders, upper parts of your arms, and you go real slow about this pace. You don't have to think about anything specifically. Um, you can just kind of let your mind wander, maybe off to nothing. And you'll notice that within about 30 seconds to a minute, things will start to shift. This is how we know the nervous system is starting to settle down. We start seeing things like yawning, clearing of the throat, boredom in one's thoughts, maybe just feeling kind of tired, easily distracted, you're thinking about what you need to pick up at the grocery store. These are all indicators that you're out of that fight or flight and now into this more regulated, calm, cool, connected, um, way of thinking and feeling, which is the goal. So this is a butterfly tap. Just go nice and slow. Another example I have is if you don't want to, if maybe you're around people and you don't want to do a butterfly tap in front of people, with your feet, pretend these are feet, you can either really slowly raise your toes, keep your heels on the floor, raise your toes, Maybe you're sitting at your desk, maybe you're at a conference, maybe you're at school. And you just really slowly do this. Nobody knows what you're doing. It's not drawing a lot of attention. Alternately, you can lift your heels if that feels better to you. So keep your toes on the floor and just lift your heels. Really neat. And you'll notice, again, 30 seconds, two minutes max, you will start feeling a lot better. It's as close to a magic wand for anxiety reduction as we can get. Other forms of bilateral stimulation are auditory, and there are playlists, and I have it on my bucket list to create a playlist of what we call bilateral sound. Now, bilateral sound only works when you have headphones on. They can be over-the-ear headphones, those are the best, or you can use little earbuds, but it can only work with that because the noise in the, in the music on the playlist goes alternately in the left ear and in the right ear. The best soundtracks for this are either nature sounds or instrumental sounds. We want to stay away from anything that has to do with talking or words or language. Um, some playlists have just kind of white noise and that's appropriate too. And this app that hopefully I will be designing soon will have adjustments on how slow or how quickly you want the tones to go in the left ear and out the right ear. Um, this one is really popular for those who are having trouble getting to sleep. When you have trouble getting to st sleep, staying asleep, maybe you have nightmares, to put this, these earphones on, to put that playlist on, and to have those alternating sounds is a really safe, easier way to fall back asleep. Speaking of falling asleep, another really popular one is if you're under the comforter and you have the weight of that cover on your body to just kind of pump your feet under the covers and that just feeling kind of safe and like you're just nestled in, that can feel really good as well. So all of these are tips and tricks to reduce anxiety and stress. It can help you with symptomology of PTSD, uh, if there are triggers and stressors in your environment there or just memories, flash flashbacks that come up. And in addition to not, not only being able to reduce anxiety and stress, there's a lot of really cool benefits that bilateral stimulation can give you, including being able to strengthen the neural network in between the hemispheres of the brain. We want to kind of be able to train our brain to do that. It's more effective that way. Um, we can handle and tolerate stressors easier if the two hemispheres of our brain are able to co communicate and, t and function better together. We are literally creating new neural pathways in our brain, which is something we should be striving for all the time. We should be growing and growing all of those synapses, but also helps to strengthen the connections and neural pathways we have in our brain for stress reduction and emotion regulation. 
So there's a lot of benefits that come with this, not only in the moment to reduce stress, but long term as we age, as we have to navigate the lefts and right turns that life gives us, the more we have access to bilateral stimulation being or having a positive effect on us, the better. It's a really, really powerful thing that not many people are taking advantage of. So I encourage you to try one or many of these techniques. Everybody has their preference. Some people really like the playlists and the audio and some people don't. Some people really, really love the butterfly taps and some people hate it. It's all fine. We just have to figure out what works best for you and to help you use those skills when and where you can to help you feel better. The goal is happy, calm, cool, collected, rational, not only just in your own body, mind, and soul, but with the environment around you. I hope this helps. And as always, thank you for checking in with your wellness. Have a good day. I'll see you soon.